Good morning. I am going on one of those trails. I don't know how to pronounce it. It says Willy Willy Nui. Hopefully I pronounce it right. And I brought my GoPro and this little camera, the Meta that I'm in love with. So awesome. I love it. So let's see where this trail lead us and I will check with you guys later. I barely saw this chicken. What's up chicken? What are you doing here? The time now is 7.30 a.m. Um, and I'm hoping I will finish this uh, trail within three hours. Absolutely stunning. I think this is the beginning of an actual trail. <laughs> it's so awesome, especially that no one is here. It's just me. Look, no one is here. And the best thing about this experience right now, so far, is that this cool mist with like it's not raining but it's so misty and cool and as you're climbing up you're like really hot but it's not that humid yeah there's cloud but there's no rain there's really nice beautiful cool mist that makes this whole experience a lot more rewarding and beautiful I think it was raining earlier this morning. That's why you see this patches of petals all over. So this is where the first trail ends. And now I am going to the second trail. It's actually the more difficult one. I'm gonna show, show you the summit where the trail leads to. So there's a, a steep downhill from here. And then you're gonna go, I'm gonna show you. Wait, wait, wait. That over there. I think the cloud is kind of covering it. And now you continue through this trail. And look, this is so steep. Look at that. Whoa. One slip and you're out. <laughs> All right, so let's continue. And keep going. I think they put a rope here to help with climbing because it's so slippery oh my goodness um, really just gonna use the rope to go up the stairs here you go holding the camera there you go it is so slippery And still a lot to go, all the way to the top. Ooh. Let's start raining. Look at that. You can see nothing. I still have a lot to go, all the way up there. This is more challenging than what I thought. Honestly, look at that. And it's gonna be so slippery now. So muddy and slippery. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but I gotta, I gotta get up there. I can't give up. This is getting so dangerous. Look how dangerous it gets. So slippery. 
I think by far this is one of the hardest trails that I've ever done. And I still have to go all the way up there. And it's not so much because of the height, it's so slippery. And look at the water and the mud. So if you ever to try and make it up here, make sure to have a really nice hiking shoes. And I would suggest uh, gloves. Yay! I am finally on the top. This is so awesome. Oh my goodness. Wow. Too bad it's so cloudy you can't see. But I'm gonna take a well deserved rest here on this water. I don't care. It's so beautiful. The feeling of accomplishment is just amazing. Would I do it again? Absolutely. Wow. Right, time to go down. This should be really, really interesting. What time is it? Let me check the time. It is 10 o'clock on the dot. Unfortunately, there is a lot of clouds and it's not clearing anytime soon. I waited up there for about 25 minutes and uh, I don't think it's clearing anytime soon. So I'm um, just gonna head down. Hopefully I'll get there fast because I'm starving. When I packed this morning, I only packed a bottle of water and batteries for the camera and that's it my breakfast was basically um, a banana and uh, a cup of black coffee this should be really really interesting heading down so I'm just gonna be extra careful I really don't want to fall hopefully not Make sure you have um, hiking shoes like those. Those are awesome. I love them. I have them for uh, three years now and they're just amazing. Look at them. I've been through so many trails, jungles, desert with those shoes. So I love them. What is that name? Hopefully I will mention it. Um, on my posts so they can get some credit. See, and this is where a time where you actually slip, there's no other options but to fall. So I fell on my butt because I'm carrying the GoPro. Um, but now it's getting um, to the point where every walk is a slip because it's so muddy and the shoes um, has really not a lot of grip anymore because they're full of mud as you can see this is why they put the rope here because there's no other options if it's slippery and muddy you're gonna have to hold on to the rope Being like this, it's like I feel the happiest. And you might think that this man is crazy or whatever, but seriously, this is how it feels to me. I'm trying to keep you guys entertained why, while, not why, while I'm going down the trail. Really, going up is not that difficult. I mean, it is difficult, but it's doable. Look at this, be careful. 
it's so slippery that's the issue and uh yeah it's clearing up now i don't think it's clearing up up there yet so yeah good timing let me check what time is it um it is 11 30 at the moment and i think i still have an hour or so to go so overall such an awesome experience and i honestly thought that it's not that difficult but it is it's really difficult make sure you hit those squats when you go to the gym really important look how steep it is look so it's really not easy and this is not ground this is bushes look this is bushes and it goes steep down look those puddles what gets the mud and you kind of have to be strategic of how you go around them because sometimes like this one here for example there's nothing there look see see you guys it's going down I am hungry. At the beginning of my traveling, I'm like, how am I gonna do it? Uh, I'm a solo traveler. I wanna be with, you know, someone sharing the experience, blah, 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 until you get used to it. And it becomes, um, oh my goodness, this is so slippery. I know I'm going to fall. It just feels like it. Do you hear the mud? Oh, so yeah. Back to the story of traveling solo. So at the beginning, it was really, really tough. You know, you're traveling alone, you know. There you go. That's kind of like mud skiing. <laughs> The secret is having a lot, of, a lot of control over your brakes because you don't want to go down fast then you're going to be like all over the place like look so slippery there's no other way So yeah, um, traveling solo is, for me now, it's, it's just the way to go for me. Like, I will feel so odd traveling with someone at this point. Um, let's see, this is a definite slip. Let's see if I can hold on to this. Look, I'm slipping, look. Look, oh my goodness. Look. My flower, my beautiful flower. Here we go. I'm gonna put you back where you belong. This was holding me.
Yeah. Oh, it's up there. Let's continue going down. Yeah, so being a solo traveler now is normal for me. Um, traveling with someone um, is not really something that uh, it will really, really feel weird. And I wouldn't know what to do, to be honest with you. Uh, versus now, you know, if I want to go on a hike, I go on a hike. If I want to stay at the hotel, I stay at the hotel. And there's nothing to it. It's just what I want to do. Look, so that is not ground. This is bush. And then you're walking here. Because basically this is a lot safer than walking on this mud. So yeah, I, I don't know how I would react being with someone. I'll probably be more of like, even if we decided to uh, do like an adventure, I'll probably be more of a protector um, rather than just focus on the adventure itself. Um, so it will be maybe uh, less enjoyable for me because I will be worried about that person. Um, I think this is part of my personality. Um, just taking care of whoever, um, I, I, this is how I feel. I feel like I'm obligated as a man uh, to take care of others. Uh, believe me, would I ever, ever, ever think or even dream to be right here, right now, this moment, um, when I was 21, 22, 23, 25, 30, I would not, I would not honestly. Um, so for that, I'm thankful. And I always say Alhamdulillah, which means thank Allah for really giving me the, the, the strength and, and the opportunity to travel and see such an amazing views and, and meet such amazing people um, and accomplish such challenging adventures. Um, I'm, I'm really, really, really um, thankful that other stupid GoPro that I had on my chest here just turned off by itself. Uh, no matter what kind of batteries I buy, like GoPro batteries or whatever, it just, it never lasts. Because I like to keep the camera rolling. Um, but with the GoPro, it's just kind of difficult. So I even, with this one, the one that I carry with my um, hand is, uh, has an extended battery. And that sometimes just fail. And when it fails, it fails in the middle of um, you trying to film something that really, really interesting. I think I'm getting close to the car. I am exhausted. But would I do it again? Absolutely, in a heartbeat. <laughs> so amazing going up there. It's not easy, honestly. It's very difficult. Um, you know, seven and a half, eight on a scale of ten. Um, and it's not so much of the climbing and uh, going up. It's it's just so slippery once you hit that altitude. Um, and uh, you know, when it was when it was raining, it just makes it super super difficult. Um, but yeah, it's so worth it. It's so worth it. You guys hear the bee buzzing? It's a beehive somewhere here. It's probably up high. All right, so you can... What's this? Hmm. 
check in and check out. I didn't check in and check out. I think nobody did. What's this? This is alcohol. Okay. Some alcohol. Come here. Goodbye, Willy Willy Nui Road Trail. Oh my goodness, the car is right there. That is a beautiful sight.